It doesn't matter what the meta says we should be playing tonight, we're playing Murloc Paladin. As part of the four fun movement for Hearthstone, I decided to start trying out decks that would not necessarily be meta for most people, but that can definitely bring a little smile to my face when I'm trying them out. The goal of playing this beautiful game or of you know the goal of the four fun movement of Hearthstone is to enjoy yourselves while also climbing out. So it doesn't matter if you get to legend on your first week as long as you're enjoying yourself along the way that's all that counts and we will showcase this beautiful deck today it was created by a player named uh piles of noodles there's going to be a link in the description for those of you guys who are interested to perhaps pick up the deck for yourselves and have a chuckle while doing so um and of course if you want to participate in the four fun movement of Hearthstone. Uh, you can join my Discord, there's going to be a link in the description. Subscribe to the channel as we are going to be playing more and more decks like this one in the upcoming weeks. And of course, um, leave a like on the video, it puts it in front of hundreds if not thousands of people and perhaps one day we can have the funnest channel on Hearthstone. No, that's not going to happen, but at least I can try. <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, play those beautiful frogfish people and obliterate our opponent with them. Um, hmm. Hogsteed is not technically a murloc. Flishflinger is, but I don't like giving that to mages. Um, there's things they can find from those murlocs that actually help them. Although he needs to kill the tide caller. I hope he doesn't, but he really does need to. Interesting. Interesting. Is my board dead? I think my board might be dead. I think my board might be very dead. Never mind, my board is no longer dead. Um, we will attempt to Cold Light Seer. And just smack face. Oh. Could have been much, much, much worse. It didn't explode. <laughs> I am extremely happy about that outcome. I was definitely not expecting to survive this turn, but it looks like our beautiful little sun gills are there to protect us. Um, this smells, well, first of all, fishy, but also smells like he's going to kill this tide collar this turn, though. He kind of needs to. Um, I do have the Felfin Navigator, though. He didn't. Okay. Buddy, okay, well, I guess that's a, solu a temporary solution, but a solution nonetheless. We have the brand new Felfin Navigator. That's some more stats for my board. This curve is absolutely insane. We got everything we wanted. We even buffed the Tide Collar with the proc on Imprisoned Sungill. This is just stupid crazy. I think we win here. I believe we win here. Well played, good sir. Well played. Turn 5. His turn 5. Yeah, this this is possible. All with <laughs> Murloc Paladin. <laughs> oh, Reno would be proud. Reno definitely would be proud. Let's keep playing. The idea behind the deck is because we are um, in a moment in the Hearthstone history that um, weapons actually started to become even more and more insane or in varied. Uh, and now we have the Underlight Angling Rod. Um, I think it was a legendary... A legendary fishing rod, not remembering which expansion it was in, but uh, 
doesn't matter. It gives us Murlocs when we attack, and then we can, you know, get another one with the Horde Pillager. So we could just keep drawing Murlocs over and over and over. And uh, that definitely helps a deck that actually suffers from running out of steam really, really bad for the most part. So this is very good for us. And we shall pass. And we'll keep the Toxfin because Druids tend to play really big taunts. So we're definitely going to need something to poison. Oh, and he's playing the uh, the spell list. So I need to flood the board as fast as I can here. Like really fast. There is a dragon in my deck. It's just not... I just don't have it right now. It's not in my hand. But there is a Scale Lord in the deck. So this is not lost on us. It's, it's still decent. Okay, he spent some time and a bog beam to kill my little dude. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I feel like I need to put more Murlocs on the board before I play the War Leader or the Navigator. And as such, I'm just going to go with this for now. We gotta keep being aggressive. Now, he's probably gonna play the uh, the little bugs on the... Okay. This could have been really bad in a Highlander deck. <laughs> this could have been insanely bad for us. No, it's okay. We got this. We are going to play the... Oh, the Sun... I think I'm just gonna Sun Gill. Coin. Navigator. Kind of like trade here. Start smacking my opponent's face. I have the war leader. I feel like he's gonna drop down a massive amount of tutus. Okay. How much damage do we have? We currently have 13 on board, plus 8, that's 21. That's GG. Again, turn five. Worked pretty well for us. Um, the deck is extremely aggressive. Um, I, I really wonder what it would do against Demon Hunters. Although it doesn't really matter. It seems to be doing really good right now. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I guess let's just play a quick last game. See how we do against the next class. This is actually surprising me more than I thought I was going to be surprised by. I mean, I always loved Murlocs. I love Paladin. It's one of my favorite classes. But I never thought it was going to be... Well, here we go. There's the Demon Hunter. I truly wonder how we'll do against him. I want any of, I mean, maybe end of a Dal, but I really need a one drop, which I didn't get. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really, really bad. This is okay. This is, I mean, it's still bad. It's not as bad, but it's still bad. He's gonna want to kill that Tide Caller. Or does he play something? Oh, hell yes. I've got a Hogsteed. I can trade that. I can actually trade and get a 2-2. Okay. We are out aggroing the Demon Hunter so far. War Leader on 3, Navigator on 4, Scale Lord on 5. This curve is insane. In my opinion. I think it's insane. It might not be for you guys. But to me... It's absolutely insane. I am going to lose that war leader, though. I'm not going to have enough Murlocs on the board to do this. Doesn't matter. Let's just go. Let's be all aggro. Let's be all face aggro. The Felfin Navigator is not going to have a target. Can almost guarantee it. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, this ain't great. The question is, does he actually attack into the, the war leader here? He puts everything into it? Okay. Okay, we have a mermy. Um, I believe I just need to kill this battle fiend, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I mean, we still have the same amount of card. My curve seemed to have been a little better. I was wrong. Ooh, Magur. Okay, I, I'm gonna do this now. I have to, uh... I have to go ahead and clear that. Real quick. He's gonna kill... Uh, I'm just gonna drop my whole, hand, my whole hand on the board. This is dead, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna need to draw Magur. Eventually. Oh no. I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. Don't kill my don't kill my Murlox. Okay. Okay. Oh, Toxfin. That's not bad. Okay. So I can force him to attack into this and I can still kill Kane here. So now he has to kill Mermy. Okay, it's not going to be as fast as a game we would have wanted it to be, but I feel like it's still winnable. I hate that card. Why is why does he actually run that card? I'm like actually intrigued. Why is he running that card? Screw it. Magar Magargo. Let's go. Our board is pretty tasty. As long as he doesn't kill the, the war leader here, which I beam definitely just murders. Oh no. It didn't kill Jack. Oh, actually. It did not kill Jack. Do I have 5, 8, 11, 14, 2, 14, 18. Yeah, I've got Lethal. Okay, cool. <laughs> I almost didn't count there and traded, but uh, we win even against Demon Hunter, which has busted card. And no one will tell you otherwise. Still managed to work. Um, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. My dude, Paws of Noodle, um, this is truly a, a, a victory for you. In terms of deck building and uh, how powerful the deck can be. In fact, I might not even be surprised if this is the best Paladin deck on the ladder right now. Um, so not only is it fun, because Murlocs, but it also is extremely powerful. I urge you guys to at least give it a shot. Make sure to join our fun, For Fun movement by subscribing to the channel. You can uh, get on the Discord. There's a link down there. You can leave a like on the video. It helps me out quite a bit. And it makes me be able to make more videos about fun decks. That's the whole point, right? So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.